In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. So, Father Finbar Maxwell, a Colombian father, and I guess he was ordained like in the Nova Sordo. Uh, then he went to Pakistan and lost his faith, I guess. And uh, was a student at this place that's now called Sophia Institute in Palo Alto, California. But at the time that I was... Uh, you know, not living the most chaste life. Uh, I met him through uh, Asher's father, and uh, he was at the Institute of Transpersonal Psychology where they have classes on, like, psycho drugs and stuff. I mean, it's just crazy. Uh, it's basically a very occult darkness. But Father Finbar Maxwell said he'd marry me to Asher's father, but he didn't tell me he was going to do it outside the church. I did tell him I was Catholic, and I told him I was divorced. Uh, little did I know very much about the laws. I wasn't really interested too much in studying my faith as much as just kind of reading scripture. Uh, the sacraments have been put on such a low priority level by my parents, who both were married outside the church they divorced each other and they were telling me how that's the way to go and stuff and for me it's like I've always wanted to just please my parents and be obedient so for me I just wanted to do what they said even though what they said was wrong obviously so I just wanted to be obedient I was kind of like that in my 20s I just wanted to do what everyone told me to do I was end up in so much trouble that way but also, it's probably just selfishness and greed on my part, right? So, uh, anyway, uh, Father Finbar Maxwell, he did the pre canna at two times in coffee shops. And then, uh, you know, the wedding ceremony is very strange. <laughs> I don't really want to go into too much detail about it. It was very strange. And then when... Asher's dad decided to divorce or whatever. Uh, I didn't know what to make of the marriage, and a lot of the church was divided. Some priests said it was valid because a priest presided over it. Others said it was not valid because uh, because it wasn't approved by the bishop. It wasn't in a church. There was a it. It was annulled because defect of form, which I would give a huge stamp on after studying. I had to go and study canon law and all this because I didn't know if my own marriage was valid or not. Priests are telling me one way. Other priests are telling me the other way. The uh, lay people were telling me all sorts of crazy stuff. And, uh, you know, he became a Freemason, too, which is against the Catholic faith. And some people say, well, that won't invalidate a marriage. Well, you know, are you supposed to follow a, a Freemason just because, you know? So anyway, uh, uh, so I called his order, you know, Columban Fathers, to let him know what happened. And, and they were just like, uh, the secretary was like, whoa, this is ridiculous, you know, this is crazy. But then the superior gets on and goes, well, you're a sinner. And that's why this happened. I'm like, why well, am a sinner? Well, does that give, you know, does that give, uh, I'm just saying this myself. Does that give a priest right the right to marry people outside of the church just because everybody's a sinner? Because I'm not the only sinner on the planet. Most wives and or brides and grooms are sinners. That's why we go to confession, especially before. You're supposed to go before marriage. I never knew that either. So, I'm, you know, they didn't tell me that at this time. Well, the marriage isn't, isn't even blessed. Obviously, they're not going to put a big priority on you going to confession or tell you that's what you have to do. So, that didn't happen either. But anyway, uh, there, there wasn't really any... I can't even remember, if, you know, what the advice was that Father Fenway Maxwell gave, thankfully. It just got wiped out, so I don't remember what he said. He obviously wasn't talking about Christian or Catholic teachings. Uh, he never 
I don't recall him ever saying that we can't use birth contro- control or any of the normal Catholic pre canna stuff, you know. I was just out the door. But anyway, so Father Finbar Maxwell, he wanted everybody to call him Finbar. So at Adam's dad, is, or Adam's parents are calling him Finbar. I'm calling him Finbar. So when I get on with uh, his order, you know, and Columbian Fathers in Ohio, I, I call him Finbar, you know, that's what he said, call him. They thought I was being totally irreverent. And why are you calling him just by his, his name's Father Maxwell? I'm, and at that point, it's just like, why should I even be talking to you guys? So I was like, well, who paid for his schooling, this heretical college where they do these, these, you know, occult things and this, um, you know, psycho drug classes and stuff. And then I just never heard back from him. And I did, and then they, oh yeah, they tried to tell me I was a liar about the whole Freemason 3 thing. So I, I put a big circle around the Freemasons from his family in, in their Freemason picture. And I emailed it to him. I said, well, you know, here's his Freemason picture. I basically never heard back from his order. They basically ran away, ran away scared. <laughs>